Hey, it's Chris here today from Huckleone's Equipment. Today we got some brand new equipment behind me, the L3902. We're gonna do an overview of it. Uh, we got one here with the loader on it as well as without. And then we got at the very end there an L3301 to compare it against. So stick with us. We're gonna jump right to an overview of the L3902. What is the Economy L? Well, the Economy L has been out since 97, whenever Kubota came out with the L2500. Since then, they've always had the Economy series, and every few years, they update them. In the past, you might have heard like an L2800, L3400, 3800. More recently, they have the L01 series, and now we have the L02 series. So what Kubota wants us to focus on when introducing these new L02 series products is the comfort for the operator and what all they've done to update that, the modernization of it, and what they've done it for those new features and then last but not least is the maintenance of it and, and the ease of use and how they've uh, increased all that and made it easier for the operator to do his daily checks. So let's now skip to uh, talking about those three main points and starting with comfort, what they have brought out uh, in those areas. Kubota has greatly increased the comfort levels, which you're going to see on the LO2. We always preach it here. Uh, the economy line has always been lacking on the comfort level. You know, it gave you all the horsepower that you're looking for but comfort left a lot to be desired. They finally, you know, stepped up to the plate and hit a home run on that end on the LO2s. Um, you know, starting with that seat. Seat, virtually the same as what it was before, but you'll see underneath it, suspension. It's night and day, you know, going across a rough field or whatnot. It, it's, it, it's awesome. Uh, you're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna get full use out of it, and it is heavy duty suspension seat. You're not gonna go out and, and break it. There is four springs under there, not the standard two that you normally see. So it is good that way. Uh, it's a good heavy duty uh, suspension seat. After that, uh, you'll see these nice rubber floor mats. Uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, if you look at any of the other older economy L's, you're gonna see paint missing on the step up here on the, on the hump in the middle, which it still does have, but pretty minor drawback. But it is great having those rubber floor mats. Like I said, uh, without that paint wear, because uh, it does look terrible a few years in whenever all that paint's missing from getting on and off and the hours start adding up on the unit. And it also takes away some of that rattles and stuff uh, whenever you're utilizing it. It makes it a little bit quieter, uh, which is, again, great. Whenever you're utilizing it, they're looking for increased comfort, right? The grab handles have been all updated. Uh, they're kind of color-coded the kind of same as what you saw originally came out on the BX lineup. So all been updated, which is fantastic. Um, then after that, you'll see two grab handles. The L01 only had the one on the left-hand side. We were always putting extras on the right side, so it's great that it comes standard with that. Small feature, but a good feature to have and should have always been on the L01 series. After that, you'll see that there is no more clutch. Again, which is fantastic. Uh, having no clutch means that it's easier to start because you don't have to clutch then. And then the big benefit is whenever it comes to PTO usage. And again, if you weren't clutching, whenever you turn that PTO on, you could hear a big screeching sound, clunk, 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 clunk. Um, things engaging whenever it shouldn't be uh, and can lead to extra maintenance costs. So with that live PTO now, you engage it at any point and they've gone from the lever system to the to the turnstile uh, with the electric switch, which is great. The only downside to that or minor downside is whenever you go electric, it's either bang on or bang off. There is no feathering it on, feathering it off. So for some of those older implements, it could cause a little bit of issue. It's not overly high on the horsepower uh, to break some of the yokes on uh, the PTO shafts, but pretty minor on that end. Great features, you know, getting rid of that clutch and everything. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention whenever we were talking about that suspension seat is armrests. Uh, you'll see it in all the brochure. It is an optional feature and every LO2 should have it. Well, unfortunately in Canada, not available yet. They are not here, just like whenever they originally came out with the GR series, they didn't have the armrest for the first six months. Looks like the LO2 is gonna be the exact same way. But again, if you can wait, please get the armrests or after you do purchase, order them later uh, for, for the LO2 series. Strongly recommend armrests for it. So when talking about the modernization of this unit, uh, there's a few things to touch on. First one is this hood. You know, modernization is just basically a fancy way of saying they've updated a few things. Well, this hood has been updated. It, you'll see the nice sleek design. Pretty minor, but it is a nice upgrade over what you're gonna see on the L01. And the second one here that you'll see is the LED headlights here, as well as uh, recessed in here is a set of extra work lights in there is LED. We preached here for years, and you'll see it on our videos, is upgrading yourself to the LEDs, get them brighter, because at dark, you know, in the snow and everything, it's, it's hard to see. So whenever you can do LED lights, that's fantastic. It's great that they've modernized that, and hopefully we're gonna see it throughout the lineup. You'll see it in the past uh, few years, they've done the LXs already, come with the LED on the cab models, the LED uh, work lights, but it still came with the halogen headlights. So um, again, 
Hopefully we continue to see the progression here of LED headlights and work lights throughout the whole lineup. Uh, and we'll wait to see on that, but it is great that they have put them on the LO2 lineup. After that, you'll see a, a new brush guard on the front. You'll see on the one beside me uh, with the loader installed. We also have the grill insert as well, so uh, which is highly recommend whenever you put a loader on is to get that insert. Uh, you know, it protects your rad and everything from sticks or anything falling out of that bucket. Just an, an extra option that we strongly recommend here. Uh, and then with the grill guard itself, they have the Kubota etched in as well as a couple of little side panels there to really protect those uh, LED headlights and stuff. So a couple of modernization things to focus on there. So now let's skip to the maintenance uh, updates on this unit. So last but not least, the key point that we want to focus on is maintenance. Kubota has done a great job of updating this unit uh, to make e the ease of maintenance well, there, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better description. Best thing you'll see here is that water separator right here. We've had a few comments of it sticking out to the side, you know, it might get banged. Whenever you put a loader on there, the, the loader pockets really hide it in there. Um, again, it does have a nice guard there as well, especially whenever you hit some bad fuel, you get some water in your system, uh, you're going to love it because it's easy to turn the fuel off, drain that out and start all over again. So Kubota's hit that one out of the park to make life easy on yourself. It didn't matter whether the unit came from the States or Japan, it always came gray painted. Uh, you know, it was hard to find your dipsticks and fill plugs. It was just, it wasn't fun. Again, it was even your oil filter was that much harder to find whenever you're trying to show it off or whatnot uh, for that first till the initial oil change. Well, now they have them uh, all color coded. You'll see uh, red here and then a yellow dipstick on the other side. Uh, easy to find, easy to identify, making life easy on yourself. You know, the last number of years we've actually through the whole lineup was, you know, color them orange or whatnot, so it made it easier for the customer to find them. In the maintenance end is you'll see a dipstick instead of a sight glass for your hydraulics end. Fantastic update because whenever it came to looking into that sight glass, unless you're in a well-lit shop, it was always difficult to see if you had gone too far or it didn't have enough. And even just to identify that light brown color on a white background wasn't easy. So now with a dipstick, pull her out and away you go. So it's just the easy updates that make the machine just that little bit better over the L01 series or any of the previous economy uh, series tractors uh, and they're simple updates but great updates so, you know whenever you're doing your daily checks or greasing it every 10 hours now you'll be able to easily identify your maintenance uh, and what you have to do on that end um, it all just makes everyday use that much better for you whenever you're using the Kubota LO2 series tractor uh, so that kind of brings us to the end of uh, talking about the three main points uh, whether it be comfort modernization or the maintenance updates on this unit so now let's skip to talking about that brand new loader the LA 526 uh, for the LO2 series there is a few optional upgrades to it um, that we strongly recommend again the loaders come in two two model series uh, either with pin on or quick attach if you go with the pin on it uh, is an LA 526 FL um, for the pin on and then the standard one is the LA 526 with, with an optional quick attach uh, that most people do opt for these days after that, when you start out front, you can get a new bucket for it. The new 66 inch front bucket has the holes for the cutting edge. As you'll see, this one is not the new bucket. Haven't arrived yet. We haven't got the quick attach, or we haven't got the cutting edges or the new buckets. Um, again, hopefully we see them sooner rather than later, but we're still waiting. So at the end of the day too, whenever you get down to the brass knuckles of the, of the stats and the specs, um, they are virtually the same. Kubota will say that the, the new loaders lift about 10 pounds more, um, but on the flip side, they only, they, they lose about half an inch of, of extra lift uh, on that end uh, from the pivot pin. Whenever you're comparing a 526 to a 525, virtually the same at the end of the day. Um, again, the one downside is whenever we step a little bit further back is the loader controls. Uh, it would be great if they were integrated into the fender, um, but that isn't uh, what they've done at this point. So hopefully we see it in the, in, you know, the LO3s whenever they come out in about five to 10 years. So, so now we're gonna do a little bit of comparison of what has changed on the LO2. We just didn't bring in this L3301 for kicks. We are now going to compare the two to highlight all the highlights. Um, so starting up front, you'll see that they're the exact same bucket. We'll take our word for it that there is a new bucket available for the LO2. Uh, it's gonna have that cutting edge available with the pre-drilled holes. It hasn't arrived yet, it will eventually, um, and you will have that feature comfort and features to it then. Moving a little bit further back, grill guards. They've been updated. Um, again, this one has the etched Kubota in it, pretty minor. Uh, but after that, some of the nice features is these nice flaps here to protect your LED headlights, as well as the grill insert to better protect your grill and some of those expensive parts whenever you have the loader on. And speaking of LED headlights, fantastic option. Uh, well, fantastic upgrade. Again, it wasn't even an option on the L01 to get LED headlights. Uh, it was just not available. So it's great having that, as well as the recessed LED work lights there. Um, again, whenever you have the loader installed, it didn't matter where that bucket was, it always seemed to be in the way. So more light, always a plus in our books. Moving a little bit further back, we're gonna be getting the maintenance. Huge bonus, water separator. Just makes life easy if you run into bad fuel. Um, and then after that, 
whenever you uh, check it out, uh, you know, they have the, everything color coded now for your dipsticks and fill plugs. And then whenever you move to the hydraulic system is instead of a sight glass that was always hard to read, you're gonna get a dipstick now. That's aces, it's great. <laughs> you're gonna enjoy that part. And then whenever you move a little bit farther back, we get into the creature comforts of it at the operator station. Kubota's gonna tell you there's more space there. Realistically, there's not. What has changed is they've removed that uh, clutch uh, to give you more space, but the actual footprint is the exact same. After that, whenever you get to the layout of it, uh, you'll see a live PTO, an extra grab handle, floor mats, and then the suspension seat. There's supposed to be armrests on that seat. It is an option, not available yet here in Canada. Hopefully we see them in the near future, but not here yet. And then we move back to the three-point hitch. Nothing has changed there, except I can't get rear remotes yet on the yellow two. It has not been released yet by Kubota. Hopefully before winter we do see it. Up here in Canada, there's a lot of hydraulics uh, rotation sold for snowboards. You need a uh, set of remotes on a tractor. Um, at least it make it available. So hopefully in the near future we see that as well, um, available on the LO2. So hopefully that's a good recap of what all has changed. Uh, and if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.